TXA 709 is unique in that it has a combination of properties that do enable it to eradicate MRSA from the body. And here's why. It targets a particular protein termed FTSC that is essential for bacterial survival. If the function of that protein is disrupted in any way, it causes the death of the bacteria. And indeed, TXA 709 treatment rapidly kills the bacteria that are exposed to it. In fact, it kills bacteria, it kills MRSA more rapidly than any of the current standard of care drugs used to treat MRSA do. Two of those kill, one of those doesn't even kill, it only inhibits growth. But even the two current standard of care drugs that are able to kill MRSA do so much less rapidly than TXA 709. That killing behavior, the term for it is called bactericidal. That bactericidal behavior coupled with what turns out to be very favorable distribution properties in the body of TXA 709 enables it to effectively eradicate it from inside the body. That said, there are individuals who are carriers of MRSA, typically on their skin. They will always be carriers. And that's fine, and it usually causes them no harm as long as it remains on the outside of the body. The problem arises is when they gain a port of entry into the body, and that's where TXA 709 would come in. But there are individuals who carry it always. The key to a successful treatment regimen is to first of all make sure that the patient completes the full regimen and not stop when the symptoms subside but to complete the full regimen because there can be a limited number of bacteria that have not been killed yet in the body and the patient will not feel any symptoms for a patient to feel ill or experience symptoms from a bacterial infection requires hundreds of millions of bacteria to be present. If there is only a few hundred or a few thousand bacteria, sounds like a lot, but it's not very many. And the patient won't feel sick or have any symptoms at all from that few. So it's critical to complete the course of the regimen which should effectively wipe out all the stragglers.